The Nintendo Switch has had a colossal debut year. The console that was once known as the NX launched with Zelda and followed it up with a trio of Mario games. And there was a steady flow of indie titles too. Here are our favorite Switch games of 2017. Super Mario Odyssey has you as Mario out to rescue Princess Peach from Bowser. Nothing out of the ordinary. It's a familiar situation that's played out since Nintendo's foray into gaming. However, the beauty is in its execution. It's rare to come across a platformer that's so friendly to new players and experienced ones alike. A game that has a perfect blend of level design, art and music, and one that rewards you for just exploring the surroundings and not playing it in the conventional way. Super Mario Odyssey is that game. If you've been wondering what the Mario Fuss is all about, this is the game for you to check out. The Switch is already among Nintendo's most popular consoles of all time, and Super Mario Odyssey is only going to take it to new heights. The setup for Mario plus Rabbids begins with a short video that shows how Ubisoft's Rabbids accidentally invade the Mushroom Kingdom and wreak havoc with an invention they stole, which can combine any two objects into a weird new creation. They end up combining themselves with everyday objects and Nintendo items, creating some helpful copies of Mario and his friends along with an assortment of bad guys, leaving you to restore peace to the Mushroom Kingdom as Mario and his friends in this strategy role-playing game. It's a great game for a portable console such as a Nintendo Switch, which naturally lends itself into genres that don't require constant or long periods of attention, such as turn-based combat. You can easily get through a level or two while you're traveling, waiting at the doctors, or watching sports on the telly. All in all, Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle is a fantastic addition to the Switch lineup and it's a great strategy game that brings fresh ideas to the genre. After years of clamoring from fans, Sega has finally released a 2D Sonic game similar to the classics from the days of the Sega Mega Drive. The graphics and art are intentionally retro in Sonic Mania, and it looks like a fan tribute to the good Sonic games of the 90s right from the moment you fire it up. Everything about Sonic Mania invokes nostalgia, from the art to the music, and even the way Sonic responds to the controls. From level design to character animations, Sonic Mania gets a lot of things right. For once, we have a Sonic game that does justice to the iconic character and the franchise. This puzzle game merges gameplay from Puyo Puyo and Tetris. While the latter needs no explanation, the former has you matching four or more circular blobs in the same color. It's a bit like Candy Crush Saga. There's an entertaining story mode and frantic multiplayer options like Big Bang and Party to name a few. All of its modes are consistently enjoyable and there's little in terms of variance between them, but you're guaranteed entertainment regardless of what you choose. The colorful presentation, apt music and easy to understand rules make Puyo Puyo Tetris fun throughout. All in all, a solid entry in the Switch's library that's truly accessible to everyone. Granted, there have been better open world games this year, but outside Skyrim that's been remastered on everything short of the Abacus, Breath of the Wild is the only option on the Nintendo Switch. Multiple patches post-launch and a welcome degree of Amiibo support have made its padding and inconsistency in combat less of a pain, allowing its freedom in traversal and approach a chance to shine. 2018 seems to carry on with 2017 left off with Bayonetta 3 and Pokemon to name a few. What are your favorite Switch games of 2017? Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Thanks for watching this video. And for all things gaming with podcasts, news and reviews, check out Gadgets360.com.